fashion has evolved. Our students, you know, they're able to convey that message. That's what makes fashion so special here. I want to tell my story and express it through clothing, and it just like... My story is about a woman who lives in this concrete treehouse. My collection is an underdog story. I'm excited to share my story and who I am. Fashion design is a form of self-expression. The ability to curate how people perceive you is a really powerful tool. I want people to be able to hear what I have to say. We're innately wanting to tell stories in our lives, and this is just our way of telling them, conveying that message through fashion. Fashion is a tool for storytelling and sharing. What kind of materials do you have access to? Why did you stitch that stitch? What better way to tell a narrative than through your clothing? Employers are no longer hiring based on grades or GPA. They're hiring, especially our students, because of the stories that they're able to tell. Jefferson designers all have their own career path. They want to design different categories. My friends want to do lingerie and activewear, avant-garde. Streetwear, dance costumes, graphic tees. I like mixing textures. I just want people to see my work and be like, I love that, I need it in my closet. I'm becoming the designer I'm meant to be. And of course, it's only the beginning. We say they're professionals and we treat them as such from the day they get here. Each professor really cares about each and every student. I feel so connected with all of our professors. Their encouragement really helps us all come together as a community. Our students learn to work with others who have related but yet different skills. Jefferson allowed me the opportunity to collaborate with two of the textile majors. We collaborate and we create different fabrics based on you know, our vision and our designs. The partnership between textile design and fashion design is extremely important because this is what's happening in the real world. We need each other. We need to bounce ideas off of each other because that's what pushes you to greatness. I think the fashion industry, that's what it's really about, being able to talk and collaborate with people. You're not just doing it on your own. Our designers can make more than what they imagine when they work together. It's more than the sum of its parts. We all strive to be better humans. We all strive to find our place in the world. And that's what I want for our students, to figure out where is their place. Beyond just fashion, what does it mean to be you? I've kind of always been, you know, marching to my own drum. Having a strong sense of self and knowing yourself is something that's very important to me. My name is Danny Feeney, and I'm a fashion designer. My name in my collection is All That Glitters Isn't Gold, and my inspiration for it is the kind of dark side of Hollywood. A bit more emphasis on the old Hollywood side, but I do touch a bit on all the you know things that have gone on in modern Hollywood, because obviously, it's still a very broken system. It was just a lot more broken then. So I kind of wanted to focus on this darker side of Hollywood. My collection is kind of grandma-y in a way, but like sexy grandma. Your grandma would have worn this to the prom, but then she would also wear it at her age. I think it definitely, it speaks to some of my looks as they, they have a very classic and vintage feel about them, but they're still, you know, like, sexy and fun and there's a youthful element to I think is it's really important and you don't want to lose that. I think sometimes we look at fashion and we think of the future of fashion and we're like, oh, it needs to be, you know, crazier and crazier than what we've done before. But the thing is, is it doesn't necessarily have to be that. It can be something that we've done before, but just done new again. You know, pulling something out of the, you know, out of the kitchen drawer and shining it up and making it pretty again. It doesn't mean that it's not pretty anymore. It doesn't mean that you can't use it still. I think being at Jefferson has definitely taught me so much about sustainability and being very mindful about what I'm putting out into the world. What's my environmental footprint and what do I want that to say? Um, who do I want that to impact? Who do I want to inspire? I, I think we're innately wanting to tell stories in our lives. I think we kind of want to convey something and kind of create a new picture. It's it's creating art, essentially. So I think it's, it's that internal uh, human thing inside of us that really wants to tell stories, and this is just our way of telling them, conveying that message through fashion. My collection is emotional. 
The inspiration comes from seasonal depression primarily and coming out of that and rediscovering what feels natural. You know when you're like sad and you want to just put on like a really big comfy sweater? I wanted to make those clothes that feel comforting, like armor when you're sad. My name is Ruby Flowers and I'm a fashion designer. The name of my collection is Solstice. I have a lot of people close to me in my life that have experiences with mental illness and struggle with that. Obviously, there's not a lot of very literal visual references there, and that's kind of how I found myself looking at more organic elements, uh, you know, sort of animals in the wintertime. I think what people love about the big comfy silhouettes, obviously it's like soft and warm, but also you get to hide in it a little bit because you sort of tuck away into them and you feel safer in there. Design is incredibly vast, and I think that's what I've learned here at Jefferson. There's like a million ways to look at anything. I think as someone interested in fashion design, you have this understanding of design as being what you see on runways, what you see in magazines. Design is a lot more, and I think I learned that at Jefferson, that design can be anything and everything. What we bring to the table is all so different. Designing is that, you know, all the differences, all the different things that can be. This collection is very sentimental, and I think it's something that everyone can kind of relate to, that need for comfort. I want them to feel warm and welcomed from the cold. I had a dream. The world was exploding, and I lifted myself off the earth, and I jumped to a new planet. Parallel universes and other dimensions and aliens. It's all these realms colliding. It's this burst of like, what the hell is going on? And I was like, wow, this is so beautiful. It sounds really crazy. And I think that's kind of what my collection encompasses. It really is telling the story of self-expression. I believe in this and I am okay with being that person. The ability to be yourself no matter who you are. My name is Kinley Lingenfelter and I am a fashion designer. My collection name is The Other Side. It's chains and straps and buckles, but then mix that with like the wonderful bright colors and funky prints. It's the most colorful collection you'll probably ever see. Like artsy streetwear that's also professional and maybe a little bondage. That's kind of the beauty in fashion. It's kind of like modern art. A lot of people look at modern art and are like, I don't get that, that's stupid. It's not really meant to be got sometimes. Sometimes it's meant to just be there and exist. And I think that's beautiful too. It is very difficult to find textiles in the market that fit my aesthetic. So I actually created my own print and then I created a zero waste textile where I was able to use all the scraps. And then Jefferson allowed me the opportunity to collaborate with two of the textile majors, Emily and Didonia. And Emily created this beautiful knit for me and Didonia a beautiful print. What I've learned the most at Jefferson is that your possibilities are truly endless. You can literally go and be and do exactly what you want life is so fragile and not being 100% you is wasting it. And so I decided that I'm going to be myself and I'm gonna do exactly what I wanna do and I'm going to chase my dreams. And no matter what I do, I'm going to be successful at it and feel beautiful and be stared at, but be excited about being stared at. Being grown is being independent being strong, making your own decisions, and trailblazing. My family is a work hard, go get what you want type of family. They're also immigrants, so I feel like that pushes me to try more, do more. I can be the reason that we're going up, we're thriving. I get to make my family great. My name is Tiana McCarthy, and I am a fashion designer. My work has a lot of utilitarian details. It has a lot of strap pieces, collars, things that you see in workwear. It's very strong, very tough. It's like always working, always having your hard hat on to get your work done. 
People who wear my clothing, I want them to feel empowered, like they're making a statement. They came out of the house, people are gonna see and notice them because of what they have on. People have a misconception of what sustainable design actually looks like. It's problem solving. How do I cut this? How do I save the fabric to use the most of it? I like the process, right? It's like fashion activism. Jefferson has advanced my sewing skills and definitely made me more confident in design. I really believe in myself and all the skills that I've learned here. When people see my work, I want them to be astonished, amazed. I want them to feel like, wow, I've never seen this before. I want to see more of this. I want to see more of this designer. I feel like I can accomplish or do anything, whether it's building a brand, building a manufacturer, being one of the top black designers in the US. That's what I want to be. The Moringa tree is this powerful, large tree. I love that it's also called the miracle tree because it helps people who need extra resources. You're able to extract the bark for medicinal purposes. But it still starts as just this tiny little seed. I'm Danielle Davis, and I'm a fashion designer. The real beauty is the transformation and internal and external growth, but also change. The name of my collection is called The Tree of Life. For me, nature is something I'm always super inspired by. My silhouettes have this very free-moving, ethereal kind of feel, and it's those subtle details that are always really important to me. Jefferson fashion designers are, they're powerful. They're this collaborative group of people who just want to help everyone grow. I've personally had so much internal growth as a designer, as a person, and I was just really drawn to like the different like prints and textures. Like when I physically went into the store and found fabric, like I just was like, all right, what's speaking to me? <laughs> and I started walking around and I found some really like unique prints and they're playing on the different textures of the bark. And in nature, like the one print I have in particular, it's just, it's really cool. I can't wait to bring it fully to life. I'm excited to share my story and who I am and Everything has been like this whole transformation, but I'm so proud of it and I'm really excited about it. I was actually thinking about it when I was just standing there looking at my collection and kind of just taken back that, you know, this whole time at Jefferson, I was just looking for what my personal legend was, what's my purpose in life, and I found that, it's design. My concept was really centered around this tree house that I stumbled upon, designed by an Italian designer. And it's this weird, very like postmodern, all concrete tree house in the middle of this Italian forest. So I really envisioned this house and who would live in this house. What would she wear? Why does she need to wear these things? What does she need these clothes to do for her in this post apocalyptic world? My name is Sydney Strickler, and I'm a fashion designer. There's something about putting on a garment that you made, that you came up with in your head. You drew it, you fell in love with it, and then you spent hours making it. For me, it's putting those clothes on. It just gives me a satisfaction that I've never felt before in my life. So my collection is called Experimental, which in Italian means experimental. Here at Jefferson, it's amazing. We have such a history of textiles here that we get to work with these textile designers. I don't know if any other school would be able to do that. So the textile designer I worked with was Tina Krybeck. She specializes in knits, and she helped me create this specialty knit for my collection that I would have never been able to imagine creating myself. I think that is the most important thing as a designer is to be connected to what you're creating. We used to have a connection with our clothes. They used to mean something to us. They used to have a story. They used to have things that you can relate to because it happened in something that you were wearing. And now you have these memories. I really want us to revert back to that feeling where we care about the things that we wear. 
I want to make clothes that people will care about, that people will feel good in, and that people can do things in. I like being a part of the ocean, feeling like you're one with the ocean. You just feel free and no worries in your head. You're just, it's just you, you're bored in, in the ocean. Surfing is where I feel free. When I'm out there in the ocean, I feel happy and I feel calm. I am Renelle Ferrand and I'm a fashion designer. The name of my collection is Resurfaced. It's based mostly off of surf culture and connection to ocean conservation. In order to be able to continue enjoying this sport that we love, we kind of need to take care of the ocean that it's connected to. I like mixing textures. A lot of the imagery that I use throughout my research, colors, overall aesthetics are a lot to do with the surf culture, kind of this like relaxed, breezy, easygoing style. Um, and then I pulled a lot in terms of like ocean conservation. You see a lot of like wave textures and imagery. Jefferson has really pushed me to go one step further, take my idea and then think how, how can I make it better every time. In a perfect world, I would end up with my own surf company because I feel like there's an underrepresentation of women and designers of artists in the surf fashion industry. The story of this collection is to reconnect with the ocean and how it provides for our planet. I think I can tell a story, but I can make it an everyday story. So it's something you can wear every day, but you know that it has a deeper meaning to you and to what you believe in. When people wear my clothes, I hope that they feel empowered and I hope that they know that they are somebody and they can do anything that they want to do. What matters to me the most as a fashion designer is telling stories about issues that are often put on the back burner and empowering people and letting them know that they're important. My name is Sierra Collier and I'm a fashion designer. Straight from the heart, it means you're doing everything without even thinking about it twice. You're gonna do what you want because you wanna do it and you're not gonna back down when somebody tells you that you can't do something. It's important because a lot of the times I'm told that I'm not going to be able to do something. It's just about being who you are without any remorse or no regrets. Hip hop feminism was a way for women to kind of be resilient to the way men were treating them and objectifying them. It was kind of just like a way for them to stand up and say, I'm not going to adhere to what you think I am or what you want me to be. When I first started sourcing fabrics, I was having trouble because I couldn't really find the right prints. And then I was like, maybe I should do quilting. I was like, maybe I should change the motif of that. I decided to do graffiti shapes. And I also collaborated with Dee Dwanaya Williams on a graffiti inspired print. One of the great things about Jefferson is collaborating with textiles designers. That definitely made the process a lot easier and you don't get that everywhere. Jefferson has shown me that if you really want something, you just have to be a go-getter. I want to have my own brand eventually. I just have so many ideas. What better way to tell a narrative than through your clothing? I would love for people to just look at my work and want to know more. There's meaning behind these clothes, and I always want to include that part of me, my culture. And I would love to just share that with the world. There's a narrative there. My name is Alexa Stone, and I am a fashion designer. My collection is called Essence, and it is the essence of my culture, of my heritage, and who I am. My identity is so important to me, and my collection reflects that. The most important thing Jefferson has given me are my peers, the students that I work with. 
I've been working with Avantika Subramanian, a graduate textile student here at Jefferson, on my collaboration fabric for my senior collection. We studied different paintings and pictures of Vietnamese rice fields. And while I was sharing part of my background, she shared some of hers as well. We were able to bond over that, which I think was great and made it an even better experience. Normally as a designer, you know, you already have your fabric and you just make it into something beautiful. But in this process, I get to see how the fabric's being made. I get to see my design come to life. I'm here to tell a narrative of not only who I am as a designer, but who I am because of my heritage, because of my family, of everything that led me to where I am today. I believe inspiration is a two-way street. It's a little bit of you, and it's a little bit of me. I know a lot of students, they say, oh, I'm, I want to work here, or I want to start my own brand. For me, I'm just so open to everything, I can't even think of one specific job I would like to do. I just want to be part of it. I took a road trip from New Jersey out to California. Main road that we were driving on was Route 66. And as I was driving, it popped into my head and I'm like, this is it, this is what I have to do. My name is Michaela Guido and I am a fashion designer. The name of my collection is The Unknown. To me, the unknown means everything. It means opportunity. It means exploration, adventure. The unknown is different for everyone. You're leaving something that you know to go somewhere that you don't know. Making a collection, it is hard to squeeze it all into just six books because your mind just wants to do everything. In the design process, with these big ideas and these big concepts, you kind of have to hone in and focus on an element of that overall concept. What's the message? When you sit down and really think about that, things become more clear and you realize where you want to go with it. I think that a big thing with clothes is the idea of identity. Who are we? What do we like to wear? It's all about expressing ourselves. Fashion design is a good medium to tell the story about my travels because I think that sometimes pictures can't do justice. It's really important to show my inspiration through my collection. Jefferson has taught me that I do belong here, that I am confident, and that I am meant to be a designer. My message is about freedom, the open road, and about how beautiful it really is and how tiny we really are in such a big world. And we need to get out there, we need to experience it. To be seen is to be celebrated uh, for my individuality. I like to wear bright colors and bright makeup. It's just to embrace who I am on the inside, shown on the outside. Avant-garde is creating art, and I want people to feel like they're wearing my art when they wear my clothes. Hi, my name is Jillian Cole, and I'm a fashion designer. The collection is called The Alien Nation, and it's about the 1960s space obsession and how it parallels with the alienation of the LGBTQ community throughout history. I love the colors and the prints and the fashions of the 1960s. For me personally, I just love wearing color all the time. So when I went from the 1960s space obsession, I kind of moved into the club kid drag movement and I compared them to almost like little aliens because they were very popular, but almost like in a way they were also alienated, you know, from just average people in the streets. It's important to me because I, growing up, I really didn't know much about the community and I really feel like teaching of that history and that past and honoring those who came before us is really important. My community was labeled the Lavender Menaces and that felt very important to me so I wanted to kind of like bring that in where I could have this fun colorful aesthetic but have it have meaning and bring more of like an edge to it. I kind of wanted to pay a little homage to them through a really cool gender fluid collection. <laughs> 
I think collaborating is the number one thing that Jefferson has taught me, especially with my own peers. I mean, we'll all be in studio together for hours and we'll just be bouncing ideas back and forth off each other. I think the fashion industry, that's what it's really about, is being able to talk and collaborate with people. You're not just doing it on your own. The dream is just to continue creating a plus size gender inclusive clothing for me and being able to give clothing to people who want to express themselves. <laughs> My collection is empowering. Taking back older silhouettes and really incorporating them into a modern age and giving the feminine body more body by incorporating fuller silhouettes, elevating something that used to not be so elevated. I'm Lon Ellis and I'm a fashion designer. I've always had an attraction towards lingerie. I really like a lot of the delicate fabrics and the use of lace and ribbon and ruffles and that, there's so much you can do with lingerie. My collection title is Tea Time. It's kind of a play on words. A lot of my looks were actually inspired by different tea sets and tea desserts, but it's heavily influenced by gossip culture and a common phrase within the LGBT community. Oh, what's the tea? The best part about going to Jefferson is that you have the ability to collaborate with other majors, including the textile design majors. My textile design partner, Callie Connors, actually created a beautiful burgundy colored print that has ribbons and bows going across it to create an intricate checkered pattern that really works well with my collection and my concept. Jefferson has taught me that it's okay to be yourself the professors here really work with you to make sure that you can be yourself and do what you want to do and show the world who you are. I just want people to see my work and be like, I love that, I need it in my closet. I won't stop <laughs> and I can't be stopped. I look back to my childhood and I kind of feel like every day I talk to my younger self and I'm like, look at how far you've come, look at where you are and look at the amazing work that you're doing. When I was one and a half years old, I touched my first toy sewing machine. And it took off from there. It's basically a calling. There isn't anything else that I'd really want to do as a career. I am Beth Dubrow, and I am a fashion designer. The name of my collection is Our Future. The story I'm trying to tell is that we need to start thinking sustainability. When you look at my work, I want you to notice the details. It wasn't until I got to Jefferson that I started actually being like, okay, you know, let's make my own designs. And then I started to like surface design. Like I like embroidery and feed work and hand painting and things like that. I kind of brought that all into my collections. Hope is an important element in my collection because we are that hope. If we do what we need to do to be more conscious about what we're doing now, then we will have even maybe more than what we have right now. During my time at Jefferson, I have started to understand myself as a designer. I've learned throughout life that you've got to be determined and you got to just you know, keep at it and you'll get it done. I'm starting my own brand, starting small and branching out and collaborating with other artists. When people view my work, I want them to be inspired. I want them to feel that all the work that was put into it, to appreciate it. I'm slowly becoming the designer I'm meant to be. And of course, it's only the beginning. Crystals are a way to connect with the earth more. I use them for meditation and keeping myself grounded and remembering who I am, where I am, and that no matter what I go through, they just kind of keep me centered. I'm Becky Shustak and I am a fashion designer. Ever since I was little, I was always dressing up Barbies and drawing little dresses on pieces of scrap paper. 
So once I got to high school, I took a fashion class and I, after doing it, I was like, this is it. This is what I want to do. So my collection is called Crystalline From Within and it is about connecting ourselves with the lost power and energy from crystals. I have a lot of angular shapes, but also I wanted to take the process of crystallization, so liquid form to solid form. So I tried to implement like a lot of fluid draping. And then throughout the clothing also, there's like hidden pockets that people would be able to put crystals in and kind of keep them close to them. With our materials, we're not just stuck with what the store is selling. So I'm working with Dodonia Williams. She is a graduate textile designer. I gave her complete freedom to design what she felt would look good in my collection, and she just went above and beyond. When people see my collection, I want them to feel excited, intrigued. I want them to be thinking about wanting to see more. My time at Jefferson has really prepared me for the unexpected. As long as I reflect back on what I learned here, I know that I'm gonna make it and I'm gonna be successful. I'm very, very proud of what I've done. I have a lot to say and I want people to be able to hear what I have to say. The imagery of the whole evil eye to me is awesome, it's beautiful, but the actual like meaning behind it is so much more like powerful than just like the shape of an eye. I personally feel like it is like my form of like protecting myself getting rid of that evil energy to make sure that everybody has their place where they feel fully accepted and valued. My name is Juliana Gober and I am a fashion designer. I'm a pretty, pretty strong sewer. I feel like that's where like my strengths lie and I can just like see like a shirt and like conceptualize like what has to happen to get to the final product. Like as a designer, people could describe me as being like accepting. So I have been creating my designs that will reflect well on a whole bunch of different body types. The name of my collection is An Evil Eye. And so the whole inspiration behind my collection is based on that spiritual protection element. I want people to feel embraced and accepted. It's just kind of being being bold, unique. The most important thing Jefferson has taught me is being comfortable with being uncomfortable. Learning that, yes, this is my style that I like working in and learning to kind of step outside the box sometimes and push your limits. Well, I love going up to all of my different like friends in class and be like, oh yeah, like what are you doing? And then in my head, I'm like, that's awesome. Like I'd never thought to do something like that. Being able to learn from my peers too and appreciating what they can do and being able to like, oh yeah, I wish I could do that one day. Like, I'm gonna learn to do that one day. Fashion is a great tool for everybody to use to express themselves and make sure everybody feels included and creative in their own ways. Motorcycle racing is life-threatening. You're going at 150 plus miles per hour. You don't have a seatbelt. All you have is leather pants and a jacket and a helmet. It's outlandish to me, so I just found it intriguing. My name is Arthur Hall, and I'm a fashion designer. My collection, I'm calling it Numbers. It comes from motorcycle racing and it's like origins. It's just kind of like a take on the older aesthetic of motorcycle racing and like modernizing it. So there's a lot of fabrics and materials that are pulled from older leather jackets or um, a lot of knitwear. I don't actually race motorcycles. I just admire the, the thrill and the, the, the garments that come along with it, especially like the, the idea of like it being almost a team sport, looking at like the individual that's racing, but there's also a whole crew behind them, which I think is cool. It's the same in fashion design, especially at Jefferson. You got people behind you that'll help you design what you want to create. I believe that I'm trying to push something new. That's, that's what I want to do. I want to create, I want to make pieces. You know what I mean? I don't want to make $50 shirt. I want to make like, kind of like an art piece. 
the clothes we wear tell a story of our life. Say you have leather pants and you accidentally like fall off your bike and you scrape them. That's just another story. It's like scars on your body. You remember where you got that scar from, so it's the same sort of thing. Instead of a scar, it's just like a loose thread on your pants or just a scuff on your shoe. It shows memory and just shows wear and love. The clothes we wear tell a story, a good story. My granddad, he's always been a really big part of my life. He was a social worker. He cared so much about people, people who didn't have as much as him, and he started to develop dementia. We're seeing someone we know is like so smart, so strong, fade away. He was someone who wanted to help people. And I think I latched on to that. He did it the best way he knew how, and I think I try and do it the best way I know how. My name is Medea Trude Williams, and I'm a fashion designer. I'm an avant-garde designer, so everything I make is like big and bold and crazy. You don't have to pay admission fees for fashion. You can just make it, you can just own it, you can just have it, and like everyone can see it. It's like you're your own exhibit, and I just really love that. I really wanted to honor my family, and I wanted to honor my granddad. And I really wanted to reflect kind of this idea of nostalgia, of like you're a little kid playing in your granddad's closet, trying on his clothes, and they're all oversized, and they're all like, like too big for you, but it's so comforting. One thing that's great about Jefferson is we can collaborate on like textiles. I'm fortunate enough to have a jacquard, and the student I collaborated with was uh, Sinead Cahill. Um, she's like a fantastic designer, and she made it look like an old newspaper deteriorating, which is like what my granddad reads every day. The most important thing that Jefferson has taught me about myself would be that it takes time to just get everything right. They've taught me everything is a process. I'm really trying to change the way that people think about fashion. Democratizing fashion is what I'm about and what I'm here for. I want fashion for the people. I want fashion for everybody. can't go a day without color. The most important thing to know about me as a designer is I'm a super colorful person. I don't think I've come across any person that has even like remotely similar aesthetics. I'm Alexandra Shepard and I'm a fashion designer. Jefferson fashion designers are interesting. We all are so different. And I think that's what makes the program here great. It's that no one is the same as anyone else, like not even remotely close. I always wanted to make things and I really love fabric and turning kind of two-dimensional things into something three-dimensional and wearable. My collection is called Pop of Color. The pop art movement, they kind of focused a lot on either like celebrities or the mundane like everyday object and I wanted to kind of combine those and I wanted to focus on the everyday woman and showcase her through size inclusivity. I wanted to make a collection that was completely size inclusive, ranging from a size A to a size 20. And I wanted to showcase all different kinds of women, not just celebrities. So I took a lot of portraits of my friends in prints and I even painted one on a skirt. You are art. You are beautiful and you should be celebrated. I may not be important to the world of fashion yet, but fashion is really important to me. Fashion design matters because it is a form of self-expression. My aesthetic may not be for everyone, but it's fun, it's colorful, it's definitely for me. And I know that there are definitely people who will enjoy it as much as I do. Not that you have to remember me, but there's no way you'll be able to forget. <laughs> There's something very exciting about the virtual and the physical world. And just at that moment where they meet. I'm Chrissy Wong and I'm a fashion designer. 
My collection is an activewear collection called Cyber Tiger. It's inspired by virtual and real life gamescape using inspiration from video game characters and mixing it with activewear so it can be from day to night and it's very versatile. My customer is probably a city girl. She's very on the go and has just very cool, edgy style. Activewear isn't really portrayed as fashion because it's very nonchalant and comfortable, but activewear is fashion. When people see my collection, I want them to feel excited and confident the silhouettes are very simple, a basic tank top, shorts, and leggings, but I add my own surface manipulation to give it some like dimension. The most important thing that Jefferson has taught me is confidence because my work is good. My professors have really taught me how to develop my skill in design. I want to design for other companies and learn from them and then create my own business. When I design something and I wear it, it makes me feel good. I'm grateful for the opportunity of coming here and learning and pursuing my dreams. After looking at my work, I'm like, wow, I did that. My collection is a lot. Like, this is everything. I'm putting my all into it. I have some pieces that form as you're walking, like you can start it up and you drop it and it turns into a different look. I just want it to be very interactive and kind of make you feel like, what is this? Like, what's going to happen? I'm Brie McFarland and I am a fashion designer. The most important thing that Jefferson has taught me is designing with purpose. Create what you're trying to portray. When I design, my professors tell me that it's very much a lot, and I was really trying to embrace that here. I like color, and I like to be vibrant, and I like to be myself, and I like to make a change and do something different. The name of my collection is Luster. In this collection, I really wanted to like push the envelope and do something extraordinary. I really wanted to embody who I am as a designer. This vibrancy and excitement that like I want to put out into the world and so I want to do that with my art. This is an avant-garde type of collection, but I want people to feel good and feel inspired by what I'm doing and inspire them to be doing the coolest stuff that they can do no matter what's going on and kind of make people feel that fun. Jefferson has really taught me to push myself and push my limits and make sure I'm creating the most amazing things that I can. I'm very enthusiastic about not only what I'm making, but the people I'm making it for. A lot means having the courage to be different, be out there, and try new things. Being a lot is living every day to the most. Being a lot is me. Some people think in black and white, and I tend to think a little bit more gray. I feel like I'm constantly searching for that balance, so I feel like my fashion kind of reminds people that like you can be both. It can be dark, but also have this sense of like optimistic personality almost. My name's Michaela Day, and I am a fashion designer. It is 8 a.m. I'm the only one in the studio right now, but I'm to get to work. So my collection is actually a retrospective collection on like my journey as a fashion designer over the past six years and going back of like, what, what do I wish I could change? Or maybe that mistake was meant to happen so I learned something from it. I did my look for fitting yesterday and it did not work out. I made a bold decision to completely scrap it. We have to redesign it and rework it. It's overwhelming and stressful, but I made a collection about process, so I'm gonna use that to actually propel me forward. Success isn't linear. There is highs and lows, and that you need to take all of that if you really want like an overall successful career. It's loud, it's definitely got avant-garde in it. It's critical, it's technical. It's reflective. 
even if it's not something that they can wear every single day, it's something that sticks with them. Like I remember going to like a museum and seeing like fashion on display and it just shifts your thinking. And it's like, how did that person achieve that? That's what I want to do is make people like think differently. One of the great things about Jefferson is that we have the opportunity to work with the textile designers and create our own fabric for our collections. So I collaborated with a textile designer named Tina Kreibisch and we created this wonderful like open knit sweater to go with my skirt. I have dreams of my clothes playing a role in someone's life. Like what if they wore that to like a core memory, I guess, like, and that's like a picture in their photo album and they're like, oh yeah, that was the outfit I wore. My senior collection is an underdog story. I learn from my mistakes, I keep going, and that's something I want to share with you. My collection is actually an ode to my father. He's very motivating, very strong, but so caring and soft at the same time. He's just like an amazing hard worker, entrepreneur, like literally the strongest person I have ever met in my life. He's this mechanic and car lover at heart that drives a truck. You would never think there is some super glamorous parts to his coming of age, like going to Studio 54 and seeing Madonna and having this like glamorous fun. Wanted to combine two things that you wouldn't think go together and create a beautiful collection representing him and his life and truly what he stands for. I'm Hannah Holton and I'm a fashion designer. I kind of like toying with feminine versus masculine, like your traditional ideas of like what they are and mixing them together. So kind of like clean and modern with this unique twist. Having a huge attention to detail just changes the garment completely different stud work that I have, different embroidery touches on all of the looks. It's about having the wearer find all those little details and grow an appreciation because of all of those things that they found that's special in it. One of the greatest things about Jefferson is getting the opportunity to collaborate with different textile designers. I was able to collaborate with Lily Cartwright and we created a custom knit for my collection. I thought it was just a great opportunity because that's really similar to what we do in industry as designers, as we collaborate and we create different fabrics based on you know, our vision and our design. When my dad sees my collection for the first time, I hope he feels proud. He inspires me every day to work hard and how could I not pay that respect back to him? I do it for him and for how he did it and how he showed up for me. I want my dad to know that none of this would have been possible without him. I feel like the world is my oyster and like I'm going to change the world. This is a very serious business, a very significant economic undertaking. The return on investment dollar for dollar for your design education comes back to you many times over. Our students are getting this top-notch education and they're getting jobs even while they're seniors here in school. I have a job lined up to be part of a design team with GK Elite. I actually just signed a full-time offer with three people and I will be a design assistant for their bottoms team. It's your willingness as a designer to connect with the world. That's what actually guarantees your reward in the end. We can change the industry to be more compassionate the way Jefferson is. This group of fashion design students wants to change the world. They have a really specific focus, and it's much more than putting clothing on a body. They have dreams to really be industry leading. They have these really high aspirations, and they keep pushing against that ceiling of, how do we get there? Jefferson fashion designers are pushing the boundaries of where fashion design is going. It's beyond design. It's what do you feel and what do you want to see in the world? I want to make clothes that people care about. I want to push the boundaries in making plus-size inclusive non-gendered clothing. I always want to include that part of me, my culture, in it. Designing with purpose. The sustainability. I'm trying to create something new. Democratizing fashion. Customizable items. Different body types. I want fashion for everybody. I'm going to chase my dreams, and no matter what I do, I'm going to be successful at it. I hope people looking at this video realize that you can applaud the fashions you see now but you haven't seen anything yet. There's not one straight path to get to your goal. Life is about learning. 
So I think just being open to different things and being open to whatever the fashion industry throws your way, take it, try it, you'll surprise yourself. Your time is now. Make it happen.